lead, and Merle take it away. Kinzer will inbound. He gets it into uh, Trevor Col uh, Culbertson in the backcourt. Brings it across. Cochran on the right wing with it now. Drives into the lane, kicks it out to Trevor Culbertson. He's going to be Jackson, looking for somebody inside. Now he pulls it back out, tries to set the offense. Gets it out top to Cochran. Cochran leaves it out there for Lindsey. Bounce down inside now to Mikey Culbertson. Goes across the lane and tries to get a pass over on the right corner to Lindsey and travels in the process and turns it back over to the Pioneers. Well, he ran right into Sage Potts and uh, second or 17th turnover for Burton. And uh, Potts gets it in to Jackson and then Potts will bring it up as they're just man to man pressure by Burton and Mikey Culbertson playing Potts. He didn't come out after him much. Potts with her on the outside to Steele. Steele jumps and shoots from long range. No good. Rebound pulled down by uh, Lindsey. Shot looked pretty good there, but just a little bit off. Mikey Col or Trevor Culbertson the other way. Tries to dump it inside. Stolen by Hall. And Hall throws it right away, right back to Mikey Culbertson. And he gets it to Trevor Culbertson who drives down the inside and puts a shoulder into Potts and puts a shot up. It goes in but won't count. Charging call, obvious call on uh, Trevor Culbertson. Second foul on him, first foul of the second half. Potts inbounds, gets it in to Hunter Hurdy. Back to Potts, and Potts will bring it up against Mikey Culbertson. It's probably a good move there. As Culbertson can't stay with Potts in the backcourt. Still, uh, spins on the top of the circle down the lane, gets in close, misses the shot, Culbertson with it, but he loses it. Back outside to Potts, Potts for three, and Trevor Culbertson clears, hurries to the front court. Takes it all the way into the basket, puts it up no good, battle for the rebound, Lindsay comes away with it. Back outside to uh, Kinzer, and Kinzer for three, good from the left side. Long pass down court for Hall, he chases it down and steps on the sideline under pressure from uh, Trevor Culbertson. Uh, I'm not sure about making that long pass, Jamie. It's, well, they made a bunch of them, and a bunch of them gotten picked off. Too hard to control that one, the length of the court. They're trying to throw it over top of everybody, and uh, once they let it bounce, if they can't catch it in the air down there, once you let it bounce, it's hard to keep it in bounds. At that, it's already that far down there. Here's Trevor Culbertson with it again, goes inside against Potts, and Potts blocks that one. He tried to lean in against Potts, and Potts knocked it away. Levin goes the other way with it. Steele all the way down to the basket, and he's fouled as he gets it up to the rim. No shot won't count, but I think he got uh, Mikey Culbertson with that one. He and Mikey collided. That's a lot of mass coming together right there. Sure was. Both pretty good-sized boys. Steele will shoot two. First one's in the air, and that rims out. No good. He'll get one more. Burton's gone up 32 to 22 here. Yeah, the Pioneers need to get some points on the board. They've gone a little over two minutes here in the third quarter and haven't scored. Still, next one hits the front rim. He gets a good bounce. It goes in. Cochran with it in the backcourt. Leaves it for uh, Kinzer. Kinzer cross court to Culbertson. Trevor Culbertson. Left wing, it goes to Cochran. Back outside to Kinzer, into the right corner to Lindsey. Potts stays back away from him, but he won't shoot. He gets it back outside to Culbertson, to the left wing to Kinzer. Kinzer for three again, and it's 35-23. He hits the three from the left wing. Now Jackson comes up court, beats Trevor Coleman. Up court gets it to steal. Steal back outside to Potts. Potts for three. No good. And the rebound pulled down by Lindsey to Trevor Culbertson. Trevor down the lane has it knocked away from behind. And it goes out of bounds off Levin. And Potts tried to pick it up and couldn't corral it down there on the baseline. It'll stay with Burton. Five minutes to go here in the third period. Burton with a 12-point lead now. It's 35-23. They get it in to Cochran in the right corner. He guarded by Steele back outside to Trevor. Trevor to the left wing to uh, Kinzer again. Kinzer's three-point attempt, no good. The long rebound goes out of bounds to Lebanon on the side court in the back court. 
4.51 left here in the third quarter. 35-23, Burton up by 12. Now. Burton still pressuring just man-to-man -to, -man to get it into steel, and he dribbles it across against Kinzer. And to Jackson, Jackson down the lane, and he's called for a charge as he flips that one up there. It goes in, but not going to count. You know, on that one, Marlon, uh, you got to pull up and shoot that 10-footer. Yeah, it's a... Pretty good shot there, especially in the side where you can play it off of the glass. Well, I mean, Culberson was down in there, and uh, he was set a long time. Uh, Burton will bring it in, have it knocked away out of bounds. They have a, another attempt at getting it in. They get it in to Mikey Culbertson, and he gets it into the front court down on the wing. Leaves it for Kinzer. Kinzer drives inside, a lot of contact. As two players go down, Potts and Hall both down, Shot goes in good, no call. It'll be 37-23. We get started again here. Potts well, is up. He ran right over Sage Potts. Yep. We don't have a little circle inside there in this game. <laughs> Potts will inbound now. He seems to be okay. He gets it in to Steele. And once they get it inbounds, it's just man-to-man -man pressure, and Steele can bring it up against Kinzer. Kinzer can't stay with him, so he backs off. He gets a pick from right. Sage Potts. And they call a illegal pick on Potts. That's the type of call we were talking about earlier, James. I don't think you need to be calling that. Well, it's kind of it's going to ruin basketball. Anyway, timeout call. We'll take it. 37-23, Burton. Leads that you're listening to high school basketball on WXLZ. No, they've just got one point. <coughs> Droughts like that kill you in basketball. Yep. Burton with the ball as we come out of the timeout. Lebanon gets Robbie Bundy into the game. He's in there with Hall, Steele, uh, Jackson, and Herdig, uh, Zach Herdig. As Potts gets a break. Culbertson with him on the outside to Lindsey. Back outside to Culbertson. Culbertson on the dribble guarded by Jackson. Goes across court to Cochran, Cochran to the foul line on the dribble. Tries to spin inside, gets in close, puts it up off of the board, no good. Gets his rebound back up, no good. Rebound again by, by Lindsey, and he puts it up. It goes in, but it won't count. And I'm not sure what to call there, Jamie. I don't know either. Hall went see. down in the floor. I believe he called a foul on Hall. I believe you're right, yeah. I didn't see, couldn't see for the bodies in there. Yeah, they called, the, called it on Hall, but no basket. Burton will play it from the baseline. Kinzer lobs it way outside to Burton, or to uh, Culbertson. Cochran, Cochran leaves it on the left wing. Kinzer, he gets the left elbow, pulls, it, pulls up, shoots over, Ken, over uh, Herdig, Zach Herdig, no good. Lebanon comes away with the rebound. Jackson gets it to Potts. Potts leaves it outside for Herdig. Herdig. Gives it up on the left wing to Hall. Hall dribbles into the foul line. Back to Steele to the top of the key. Steele for three. It's short. Steele gets the rebound in front of Kinzer and back out of there to Jackson. Gets it to Potts and Potts bumped hard by Mikey Culbertson. And they got Culbertson this time on the block. He That's his third foul. He does that a lot. And they've been letting him get away with yeah. all that bumping down in there. That was out far enough in the court that they had to call that one. Culbertson and uh, and Lindsay go to the bench as Buchanan comes in comes in along with Spriggs for Norton. Jackson inbounds way outside the pots. Long three-point attempt, no good off the front of the rim. Kinzer with the rebound, leaves it for Culbertson, and the point guard will bring it up. He spins down in the lane, kicks it back outside to Buchanan, back to Kinzer. Kinzer guarded by Hurdig out there, the left wing to Cochran. He's picked up by Steele, leaves it back to Kinzer, and he brings it back out top. Kinzer tries to spin inside, does so, and puts up a floater, no good. Rebound battle for him. Hurdig comes out of there with it and gets it to Steele. Steele long pass ahead to Potts. Potts spins, gets it to Jackson. Jackson on the baseline, back out on the corner to, to Hurdig. Hurdig saves it from going out of bounds. Back to Jackson. Jackson for three. 
after Hall picked it up and dished it to Jackson in the corner. Jackson hits a three-pointer. Much needed basket by the Pioneers. 37-26, Burton. Now it goes down inside to Kinzer as he got all alone underneath the basket. Somebody lost Kinzer there. And he laid it up in the end. It's 39-26. Jackson into the front court now. Gets a pick from, from uh, Potts again. Goes around and dishes out on the left, right wing to Steele. Steele for three. No good. And rebound grabbed by Potts. And they say he's tied up down in there. Not sure who tied him up. Couldn't tell now. But it goes out of bounds on the possession there to the Pioneers. Kimser will leave. And... Uh, Mabe comes into the game for him and also uh, J.D. Tatum into the game for Lebanon. Tatum's in there for... Uh, our steal goes down the side of the lane, gets in, bounce pass, and lays it up and in good off of the, off of the board. And it's 39-28. Now here's a near steal to Jackson, but Culbertson gets it down in there and tries to feed Spriggs underneath and throws it away. It'll go back over to the Pioneer. A lot of turnovers continue. I'm not sure. I was trying to figure out who, uh, I guess, uh, Tatum came in for for Herdig, I, I suppose. Bundy was in there at one time, I think. Yeah, wasn't I mean, he was in there for Potts, but he didn't stay long. They took Potts out there for just a minute. They've got Potts and uh, Zach Herdig along with Steele. Jackson and, and Tatum in there now. And Hurley flies down the court, down the lane, dumps it off on the right side to Tatum, and he puts it up off of the rim, but no good, but he's fouled. Had a good shot at the three-point. He just didn't release it quite quickly enough. I think Tatum came in there for Hall, probably. Yeah, he did, and uh, he can shoot the ball pretty well, Merle. Yeah, he uh, played real well last year on the JV. They might get a little offense out of him. And he misses the first free throw. He'll get another one. Jinxed him, I guess, didn't we? Yeah. He's a pretty good shot, though. He's got good mechanics. Makes the second one, so he's one out of two. Well, there's pressure on the backcourt, son, but uh, Cochran brings it up, gets a double team to the half court, gets it across to Buchanan. Buchanan back to Cochran. Cochran for three from out top off of the rim. No good. Potts mugged on the rebound, got the rebound, and uh, Lindsay got the rebound away from him some way there and put it back up and in, but they call Lindsay for a travel. He, he was walking, yeah. So it's Pioneer basketball. Potts got knocked out of bounds on that rebound with somebody there. Yeah, he, he's gotten banged around in there pretty good. He's maybe just a little small to play inside, but he's... He hangs in there with it. He's pretty tough. Jackson brings it up with one minute left in the third quarter. As the Pioneers get it back on that travel call, and he gets it down inside the pots, and he gets mugged again inside, but they call it this time. They could have gotten that on two or three of them. Let's see who they call it on. Called on Cochran. It's his first. Fifth, fifth team foul here in the half on Burton. 50 seconds to go as Potts shoots free throws. His free throws up and good, and that's his first point here in the third quarter, Merle. He's taken a couple of threes, but he's been unable to hit them. That one rolls out, looked pretty good. Just Re turned out of there. Rebound Lindsay, almost taken away by Steele and Tatum down in there, but it goes out of bounds. And they say it went off of Lindsay, out of bounds, so it'll be Pioneer basketball. So they did get it away from him. Jackson will inbound as they run the inbounds play. Jackson lobs it way outside to Steele. Finally, he couldn't get anybody inside. Steele goes right around. Culbertson pulls up in the lane for a little floater. No good. And Culbertson with the rebound ahead to, to Mabe. Mabe tries to, get it, tries to get it across at a diagonal across the lane down inside to Cochran and uh, went right through Herdig's hands. Yeah, he should have caught that ball. I think it surprised him. It wasn't as high, wasn't as, high as he thought it was going to be and it went right through his hands. They lob it outside to Cochran on the inbounds play and Potts gets called for a blocking foul there as he bumped into uh, Cochran. That wasn't much either. Nope. Been a whole lot worse going on there. That's for sure. Burton will play it from the baseline. Culbertson gets it in in the corner to Cochran. Cochran for three, good. Over top of Steele. I don't think Steele thought he was going to shoot that. 
our score with 20 seconds to go as Hurdy gets it into the front court. 20 seconds in the third period, and here's a foul now. It's just starting to call some of this stuff now, Jamie, as Cochran fouls Hurdy as he goes around him. Second foul on Cochran. That'll be a throw-in for the Pioneers. That's 16 fouls though, against Burton. The Pioneers will be in the bonus here the rest of the ball game. 17 seconds to go as Jackson inbounds. He gets it outside to Steele. Steele guarded by Culbertson. Goes around Culbertson, kicks it in the corner to, to Potts for three. It's good. Big bucket for the Pioneers. Ryan Potts for three-pointer with five seconds left as Cochran tries to get it down court and throws it away. With six-tenths of a second left, he tried to get it inside to uh, Lindsay and threw it right over his head out of bounds. It'll be Pioneer. Ball underneath their own basket, and Potts will probably throw it down court somewhere, I would assume. Burton's well, going to back off of it. It's hard to have time to get a shot. Just going to get it into Jackson. No shot will be taken. 45-30, our score. After three quarters, we'll be back in a moment with fourth quarter action. You're listening to high school basketball on 107.3 WXLZ. Basketball as we start the fourth quarter. Uh, Lebanon back on the court with Potts, Christian Hall back in there, Steele and Jackson, and Hunter Hurdig. Burton has both Culpertson boys in there with Buchanan, uh, Kinzer, and Cochran, and Mike, uh, Trevor. Culbertson gets it, pass and gets it into the front court, left wing to Cochran, back out top to uh, <coughs> Kinzer. They swing it back around on the left wing to Cochran. He tries to dribble inside, almost carries it, kicks it back outside to Buchanan. He leaves it out on the wing for Trevor Culbertson. He's double teamed out there and finally gets, gets it to uh, Cochran, he almost has it stolen by Steele into the right corner to Buchanan. Thinks about a three and then drives the baseline and gets all the way in close to the rim and lays it up over the rim for a bucket and it's 44-33. Jackson across midcourt with it. He's guarded by Culbertson back outside to Steele, left wing to Potts. Potts drives down on the baseline, gets in close. Runs right into Culbertson. Now, that was a good call, I think, there, Jamie. I agree. He went too far and banged into Culbertson. Yep, pull up there and shoot that little jumper. That's a lost art. I don't know, I don't know why they don't do what's that. What's going on with it? Culbertson did a little bit of flopping there, I think, but well, there, was, there was contact. Potts weren't going to lock him down no. for sure, but it was the right call. Here's Kinzer from the left wing, puts up a three on the other end. No good. Rebound. Christian Hall, he quickly gets it into front court to uh, Potts. Potts spins into the right elbow, kicks it back out to Steele. Steele for three, good from the left side. Timeout Lebanon, 32nd timeouts will stay here. 44-36 as they cut it to eight, Jamie, with yeah. 6.39 to go in the game. Well, that's pretty typical of the three-point age, you know. You can come back in a hurry. Yep. You know, when you're 10 points behind and, you know, if you hit three threes in a row, you're right back in the game. So get get a couple of stops, and they could be right there. A little different between we played and coached. Yeah, you know, sure it is. A 10-point lead, you know, back in those days is pretty tough to overcome. Yeah, sure was. But now, with this three-point game, you can catch in a hurry. Especially if you've got two or three guys that can shoot it. And That's right. Steel and Potts both pretty good at it. Jackson shoots well, it good. Jackson good. can shoot the ball. He just he doesn't choose to shoot it much, Merle. I think he needs to to do it a little more. All right, back uh, coming out of the uh, timeout, uh, Burton will have the ball. They don't have to go the length of the court. Levin will pressure somewhat in the backcourt with Jackson and Christian Hall. Burton gets it in to Trevor Coleman. He dribbles it across midcourt, picked up by Jackson. More while half to life. Trevor Coleman's up there at Honaker probably helping coach a <laughs> girls game. Now this is Culbertson. It was Culbertson. Yeah. I couldn't resist that. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. I keep calling him Coleman for some reason. Cochran on the outside with it. They run a little weave. Leaves it out there for Kinzer. Kinzer guarded by Hurdig. Back to Cochran. Almost stolen by Steele. Cochran leaves it outside. They want to run a little clock evidently, Jamie. Across to 
uh, Trevor Culbertson to the right wing to Kinzer. Kinzer down in the lane and is fouled from behind. They got Christian Hall on that one, I think. Wait and be sure, but. Yeah, that's the 16 foul on Lebanon, so it'll be a one and one contest here for the rest of the game. Yeah, both ways. Uh, second foul on the on Hall, on Christian Hall. They lob it in from the baseline outside to Kinzer. He's picked up out there by Hunter Hurdig, putting a lot of pressure on Kinzer as he dribbles. Almost lost it with a five second count. Now it's to, to uh, Cochran. He kicks it in the corner to Buchanan. Buchanan for three. No good. Lebanon with the rebound as Potts chases it down. Long rebound out near the foul line. and He leaves it for Jackson. Jackson comes across, picked up by Trevor Culbertson to the right wing to Steele. Back outside the Hurdig to Hall on the left wing. Hall looks for uh, Potts. Can't get it in there. To the right wing to Steele it goes. Steele into the corner to Potts, fakes a three, gets on the baseline, pulls up for the jumper, this time no good. And that was, that was a good move. He just didn't make the shot. Trevor Culbertson comes out of there with it, almost throws it away down on the baseline. Back out to Cochran. Cochran for three, good. And that's a nail in the coffin there with 4.50 to go in the game. 47-36 lead now. Pioneers need to get a basket this time up. Steele against Kinzer. He gets by Kinzer, pulls up in the lane, backs it home right in front of the goal, and it's 47-38. They need a stop or two. Here comes Kinzer into the front court. He's chased by Hall. He's back outside now for Cochran. Cochran picked up by Preston Steele. The left-hander has his pocket picked by Steele. Steele into the front court now against uh, Lends in, he goes all the way to the basket and puts it up and in good against Kinzer, rather. And Kinzer draws the foul. Steele will have a chance for three, three-point play here to cut it to six. Good steal and a good one-on-one -on -one play by Travis Steele. Yeah, good quick hands there to pick the pocket of, of uh, Kinzer. Pioneers going to play offense, defense a little bit, I think, to get uh, uh, J.D. Tatum back into the game. Steele trying for a three-point play. Potts sits down and he makes it. Steele makes the, the free throw to cut the lead to six. Now, Trevor Culbertson on the dribble bounces it to Mikey Culbertson down the inside who banks it home. Hurdig trying to get up over top of him and bother him, but didn't bother him at all. Hurdig runs to the front court with the inbounds pass. Long pass out near mid court and he throws it away. Trevor Culbertson steals it, goes down inside against. Steele dumps it across the lane to Buchanan who puts it up and in good. Good pass over Culbertson that time with 3.35 remaining in the game. Now it's 51-41. Steele on the dribble into the lane, bounces in the corner for Jackson. Jackson for three, good. Out of the left corner, timeout Lebanon. And this will be a full timeout. We'll take it with them. 3.28 to go in the game, 51-44, Burton lead. We'll be back here listening to High School Basketball on WXLZ, 107.3. Burton will have the ball coming out of the timeout. They lead 51-44. 3.28 to go, Lebanon pressures in the backcourt. Hurdig, Tatum, Steele, Potts, and uh, Jackson on the floor now as Buchanan gets it across half court and fouled by Tatum. Going to be a free throw shooting contest from now on, looks like Jamie's. Uh, Tatum chased him down, fouled him intentionally. So it'll be a one and one there. McKinnon hadn't been to the line tonight. Makes that one though, he'll get the bonus. He's made a couple of baskets from the floor. It probably has helped him to be able to shoot the free throws. Huh? And he makes them both. A lot of people in that free throw lane before he shot that one looked like. Burton, comes, Burton back up by nine now. Hurdy comes down into the lane, throws it away again, trying to get it out in the corner. And Culbertson comes the other way with it into the right corner to made made for three, no good. Hurdy with the rebounds, that and fell short. Hurting races to the front court, gets it to Tatum on the right side. 
all the way out to the left side, down in the corner to Potts. Potts for three, good. Ryan Potts over in front of the 11 and bench, 53-47 is our score. And Tatum chasing the Cochran, can't catch him. Cochran pulls up with it, gets it back outside to, to Culbertson. Culbertson to Cochran, back to Culbertson. Five second count started on Culbertson. Down the lane he goes, gets it to the other Culbertson, and he puts it up and in good. Mikey off of the backboard in front of a defender as he got inside. 55-47, pass from Hurtig to Steele is knocked away on side court in the front court by Culbertson. It'll be Lebanon basketball. 2.22 to go in the game. Eight point lead for Burton. Jackson into the corner to Steele. Steele down inside the pot spot, spins back out to Steele. Steele for three. Good. But Preston Steele with the three pointer. It's a five point game. Burton in the backcourt with it still. Culbertson gets it ahead to, to uh, Maeve. Back to Culbertson and timeout. Uh, did they call a foul? Time, no, oh, timeout. Timeout on Burton. Timeout, Burton. Uh, this will be a full timeout. We'll take it with 2 or one to go and a five-point lead. You're listening to high school basketball on 107.3 WXLZ. Now the Pioneers have stormed back here in the fourth quarter, making a couple of threes. We've got two minutes left in the game and a five-point lead for Burton. So it's still anybody's ball game. The Pioneers either need to make a steal or two or they, they need to foul somebody and hope they miss. I'm not sure what strategy Coach Poss will do, and I'm, I'm not sure what strategy is best. Both Hurtigs come back on the floor after the timeout, and uh, Steele, uh, Potts is out of there on defense. Steele, Jackson, and Tatum, they bring it in to Culbertson. Mabe gets it and stolen away. Hurtig knocks it away. Picked up by Zach Hurtig to uh, Hunter Hurtig back outside. The steel steals three-point attempt is blocked. The rebound by Hurtig puts it out in the corner to Jackson. Jackson for three. It's a two-point game, 55-30, 55-53 as Cochran brings it up court. And they want to hold on to it for a while. With a minute 30 lobbed down inside the Buchanan. Back outside to Mikey Culbertson, to Trevor Col Culbertson. Don't need to foul yet with the two-point lead. Still plenty of time. Need to steal the ball. Minute 20 on the clock. In the corner to, to May that's knocked away and out of bounds off Tatum. Tatum got a hand on it, knocked it out of there. Now here comes uh, Kinzer back into the game for, for Mabe, for J.I. Burton. And Mike, Mike should have fouled Babe while he was in there. Yeah, I think they were going to if they got a good chance. But he hadn't played much. Minute yeah. 16 left, two-point game. The Pioneers are stolen back here. Kinzer gets it in to Culbertson. Back to Kinzer down on the low blocks to Culbertson. Culbertson run, runs right over. Zach Hurtig, I think, was down there low. Yeah, and he, he ran right over him. Not, they're not liking the call, but it's a charge call on on uh, Mikey Culbertson, now pa Paige Potts well, I don't know gets back in the game. I don't know whether they like the call or not, but it's certainly a correct call. He oh, yeah. ran right over him. Yeah, he builds his way in there a lot, a lot like that. We're approaching a minute to play. The Pioneers can either tie or go ahead with this possession. Back outside to Potts. Potts to Tatum, taking their time. Back to Steele, and he almost throws it away, saved by Hurtig. And bad pass now from Tatum, and Burton gets it back. Here goes Culbertson down off on the right side to Cochran. Cochran into the basket, lays it up and in good. But 35 seconds to go, it's 57-53. And an over and back call as, over and back call as Hurtig. Zach Hurtig tried to hit Steele coming up the middle of the court, and Steele, Looked like he caught that in the air coming across, Jamie. Well, he evidently didn't get his foot down. You got to get everything in front court. Yeah. Feet, ball, everything. So the call over and back. So Tough he call. And on the inbounds play, Zach Hardig immediately fouls uh, Trevor Culbertson. So he'll go to the free throw line with a four point lead and 32.9 seconds left in the game. Well, the Pioneers had the ball trailing by two and turned it over. So. Uh, 
Burton back up by four. Now it's 57-53, and uh, Trevor Culberson on the line. He'll be shooting two. They're actually one and one. He makes his first one, so he'll get the bonus. That puts Burton back out by five. It's 58-53. We've got 33 seconds left on the clock. And he makes the second one, so a six-point lead for Burton. That makes make it tough on the Pioneers. Pioneers need a quick bucket of some kind. Put it down the lane, dumps it on the right side. The hall, hall lays it up in good off of the glass. Timeout Lebanon with 20 seconds to go. It's back to a four-point lead. It's 59-55. We'll stay here for this timeout with 20 seconds left. Still a four-point lead with 20 seconds. That's going to be pretty tough for the Pioneers to overcome, but they have stormed back here in this fourth quarter, really. They got down by, what, about 12, I think, at one uh -huh. time. And they had uh, a really good opportunity moments ago up here in the front court with down two points and had the ball, and they uh, threw one back, bad pass. A Hurtig save from going into the back court, but he threw it back in, and then someone else, I think, threw a bad pass right into the defense and it was knocked away and intercepted, but uh, that's been the that's been the name of the game all night, Jamie. They made bad passes. Merle, uh, I'll mention this again in the wrap up, but Burton has committed 27 turnovers. It's amazing they're still in the game, but Lebanon's done that. The Pioneers that. have committed 18 turnovers. So, I mean, that turnovers are in the 40s there now. Ball's been like a hot potato sometimes there. Yeah, just, I don't know. The team this, can control it. Just a lot of bad passes. I don't know, these cross court passes, uh, you know, they're risky all the time. Well, you take people like Trevor Culbertson, as quick as he is, you can't throw it a long ways without him getting a hand on it if he's anywhere in the vicinity. Burton with the ball now as we come out of the timeout. They get it in to Cochran. Cochran's fouled by Steele. Yeah, Steele had a hold of him holding him. He didn't think they were going to call it there for a minute. 18 seconds now. So that'll still be a one and one for Cochran. Lebanon's got to have a rebound if he misses. That's nine team fouls on the Pioneers, so. Hunter Hurdig goes out, Potts back into the game. It's Potts, Steele, uh, Zach Hurdig, Jackson, and uh, Christian Hall in the game for Lebanon. It's Cochran shoots now. That's up, it gets a lot of rim, but it rolls in, so he'll get the bonus. Five point lead now, it's gonna be a two possession game at any rate, whether he makes this one or not. Yeah, he makes that one too. So Burton is two, four, six out of six free throws here in the fourth quarter. Hurdy quickly into the front court, throws it in the corner to Steele. Steele for three, no good. And Culbertson up high for the rebound. That's Trevor Culbertson, and he gets fouled immediately with nine seconds to go. That's just about going to do it, Jamie. It's 61-55, Burton lead after the two free throws by Cochran. Those were big pressure free throws he made. Yeah, this, uh, this game's over. Six-point lead with uh, Trevor Coleman. Pretty Col gallant. Tre Tre Trevor Culbertson, excuse me. Yeah, again. he gets the free throw line. Makes that one. That's seven out of seven free throws for Burton here in the fourth quarter. That's that's important, too. Big and he makes them both. So they're eight out of eight from the line here in the fourth quarter. Big factor in this win for Burton is Hurdy gets it into the front court and throws it away. Picked off by uh, Kinzer, and he's fouled immediately. Well, there ain't no use to commit those fouls. Yeah, no use to foul now with five seconds to go. And a eight-point lead for Burton. Might as well just take their loss. Yeah, there's no use uh, fouling now, but Kendra will go to the line for two, I think. Burton doesn't put anybody on the line. He misses that one. He'll get one more. These free throws do not matter a, a bit with a 63-55 lead. That one rims out, too. Now Steele quickly into the front court. He pulls up on the wing for a long three-pointer. No good at the buzzer. Final score, J.R. Burton 63, Lebanon 55 in a hard-fought contest here tonight. We'll be back to wrap things up in a moment. You've been listening to High School Basketball on 107.3 WXLZ.